Yes, Mom. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just getting my dress off. Of course I'll hang it up. Cheers. Okay, now that she's gone. People, people. She did the most ridiculous Lucy Ricardo stuff yesterday. I can't keep it held in another second. Okay. So yesterday was a beautiful day between 65 and 70. So mom just looks at me and we never plan anything. It's always spontaneous because that's just how she is. She looks at me and she says, let's do some shopping, baby. So we go out and we go, first we go up to Walmart. Now, we know that most dogs aren't getting in Walmart. So we just asked the guy if we could go into Walmart, mom needed to buy her Diet Pepsi, and um, one guy said yes, and the next guy says no, and they started arguing. The two greeters started arguing. Well, yes, she can go in with that dog. No, she cannot. Nancy can't. No, she cannot. So mom says, Man, please, man, don't fight, don't fight. We'll go somewhere else. So we leave there and we go to PetSmart. Well, Mom just wants to see if there's any fun costumes. I don't get my dog food there. And uh, we are checking out, and there's this lovely gentleman that has worked there for several years. And he, Mom hears him talking about anxiety disorders, and he has one, and he's telling the lady in front. And so Mom has to pipe in. Oh, I know people with problems like that. I even had anxiety at one point. So her and this guy and he was an overweight gentleman and we are overweight so we can say that anyway he told my mom that when he walked outside of pet smart that a bunch of guys drove by in a truck and screamed you shouldn't go into pet smart you should be working out in the gym so mom starts tearing up <laughs> And I thought she was going to adopt this guy. But anyway, we left there. Then we went somewhere that's very unusual for us. The farm stand. That's where all the local uh, gardeners or farmers bring their stuff in for us city folks who don't plant shit. <gasps> Cut that out, Leonard. Anyway, so... um. Ugh, I, I'm confused. Should I do the video over for that slip? I don't think so. All right. So we go to the farm stand, and Mom and me, and, you know, it's a lot of stuff. I, I do take up a lot. So Mom puts me on the ground, and I am leashed, of course, and Mom says, you know, I don't want to carry around my purse. I'm just going to take my credit card, and that's going to be it. So she shuts the door to the car. Credit card goes down the front of her shirt. Oh, gosh, this is hard to tell. Then we go to pay, and the lady says, uh, I can't take a credit card. It has to be an over $8. Well, she'd only bought two ears of corn and some beets for the old poop. Uh, so she thinks, well, I'll go to my car and get the money. And then she says, no, nah, just throw some snapdragons in the, the bunch, because I wanted some snapdragons. So anyway, so Mom's able to pay for her order, which then goes up above $8, because she buys some snapdragons. Well, we start walking to our car, and we think, uh, how are we going to get in the car? We only have a credit card, corn, beets, and snapdragons. The keys were in the ignition, along with the purse in my mom's purse and iPhone in the car. So, mom starts to tear up again. So, the people at the farm stand call the police. Five minutes later, here comes Westmont's finest. It was a nice younger girl. Well, I won't go too far to say nice. She didn't crack a smile. And you know, country mom is like, oh, 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 oh. So anyway, she says, I'm sorry, ma'am. Your name is not uh, registered to this car. It's under Russell. And she goes, that's my husband. I've already married her for a hundred years. You know, she, mom didn't really say that. She goes, I, I said, she says, well, if you open the car, I can give you all this information. And I think she knew Mom was legit. I mean, geez, come on. Who else would want this horrible old white car we drive? So anyway, the lady cop was not cracking a smile at all Mom's jokes. And she finally got in the car. The car goes, wow, wow, wow. 
we get in and we were just like, praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you. Mom offered the cop her snapdragons. Well, of course, she looked at her mane and pulled out. So we're all exhausted and mom says, you know what, I'm over it. Let's go to Neiman Marcus. Well, kids, we can't afford anything there. But mom used to work over at this Oak Brook Center and she knows people in all the stores. So she thinks, let's go to Neiman. So we drive to Neiman Marcus. Well, you know, I have water in the car and you know, I never go to the bathroom at any of these stores. Never, ever, ever. So mom thinks, Phoebe's had a lot of water. I'm going to walk her down the side of the hill right here by Neiman's and where all these fancy restaurants are. There's this little grassy area. Well, I have to tell you, you know, when a girl has to take a dump, a girl's got to take a dump. So I do my circle, 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 and mom is freaking because she didn't bring anything to pick up anything, and we didn't think we would need it. So she gets in her purse, and she finds a tiny receipt. And I have to tell you, I had a, you know, quite a big little, you know, pile there. So Mom bends down. She's scared to death somebody's going to see it. And she picks up the stuff, and it's in this receipt. And you can see the poop sticking up at the top of the receipt. So she puts it behind her arm, behind her purse, and I'm walking along with her, and she gets it to the trash can. So we're saved, you know. Jeez, come on, this was terrible. So we go in, we go upstairs to the bathroom, mom washes her hands, then she proceeds to go down to the makeup counter where her friend Eva is waiting with open arms and mom fills up a sack of stuff she never needed. Then we start driving back home and we're in a traffic jam. Uh, it took us an hour to get home where it should have taken us five minutes. And lo and behold, I'm here to tell the tale. Thank you, everyone.